Today on the Traveling Cheese Head, we explore the painted pots, Gibbon Falls, Grand Prismatic Spring, and our favorite Old Faithful before we sneak down into Grand Teton National Park. Where are we going next? Let's go. All right, so day two, we are headed down to the South Loop. We will stop at the Painted Pops, the Grand Prismatic Spring to walk around for a while before we head over to Old Faithful to the West Thumb, sneak on down to Grand Tetons before making our way back up and around Yellowstone Lake, Hayden Valley, and then back home for the evening. It's going to be quite a day. Let's go. As soon as we entered the park, we were greeted by the welcoming committee, the Wild Elk. So good morning, I'm here in Yellowstone National Park. We're here at Gibbon Falls. I didn't check in with you this morning. I got a little carried away. We made a big decision. We are extending our trip for one day. We're gonna stay a second night in Keystone on our way back, uh, just to relax and kind of enjoy that area. Sorry about the wind, it is a little windy up here. But uh, today we are doing the lower loop. So we're stopping here at Given Falls. We're headed down to um, Old Faithful. And then we're gonna sneak off and go into Grand Teton National Park before heading back up and around through West Thumb and that area. And then we'll head back to Gardner this evening. Um, we're gonna try out a different place for dinner. The place we had last night was great, the pizza was good, the people were friendly, great atmosphere. Um, so far we're having a great trip, it's a beautiful day, a little overcast, cooler than yesterday so far. We'll see if that changes as the afternoon bears on. Um, but we're having a great time today and I'll update you as we go. We're gonna go check this out just to give you an idea. Parking is really busy right now. Pit toilets only, but at least there's facilities and they're relatively clean and we're gonna go check this area out. Just south of the west entrance, the paint pots are unique set of geysers. There are the mud pots, which have very little water in them, and then there are the spewing water pots that we think of when we think of geysers. The most fun one we've seen so far. He's been spewing continuously since we walked in. One of the most visited and photographed spots in Yellowstone is Grand Prismatic Spring. A beautiful river flows through and most years you can swim in the river that is heated naturally by the overflow of the water. We stayed on the lower hike. There is an upper hike that overlooks the entire spring. That's the Grand Prismatic Spring over there.
After the springs, we continued on to the Continental Divide, which is where all rivers flow either east to west or west to east, depending on what side you're on. So I'm at Old Faithful. We have about 15 minutes. We timed it really well. Don't know how we did that, but we got here about 15 minutes before the expected eruption. And already I'll show you the crowd that is here waiting for this next eruption. Just look behind me all the way around as far as you can see. And then back this way as well. It's crazy. Not to mention all the people in the trees. So, it's been a good day so far. We've made it most of the way around the lower loop so far. And uh, after this, we will head down to Green Tetons before heading back the other side of the loop on our way through Hayden Valley back home for the night. While waiting for Old Faithful, we saw Grand Geyser go off in the distance. While Old Faithful is the most predicted consistently of the geysers in the park, it does like to keep us in suspense and provide a great show guessing, is this the one? Is this the one? Only to be like, nope, not the one. As you can imagine, Old Faithful is very popular with families, but I think the adults enjoy it just as much as the kids. And Old Faithful did not disappoint, brought me right back to my childhood. Surprisingly, eruptions can last as long as 90 seconds to a full two minutes. So be prepared to keep that camera on and running. Be prepared for when it's over, because it's like leaving the fireworks show on the 4th of July. About an hour drive from Old Faithful, you will find your way to Grand Teton National Park. Even if you only have a moment to stop and enjoy the scenery, it is well worth the side trip down there. Hey guys, I am at the Grand Teton Park. We made it. Um, it's a little further south of, of uh, Yellowstone, so we weren't really sure if we were going to make it down here or not, but we were so close after going to, um, you know, Old Faithful and everything like that. And I was like, oh, let's just do it. We're here. And boy, am I glad that we did. Check out this view. Um, we're going to head back after this, but wow, I am so impressed with this view. The Tetons, 
are definitely a must see. I wish we had more time to spend, but we're gonna head back up, finish our lower loop through West Thumb and up through Hayden Valley. So we're hopefully, hopefully we'll see some more wildlife on our way home tonight. Um, and then we're gonna go to eat dinner in town at a cowboy place. So we'll see how that is later on. But we'll catch up with you later. Grand Teton National Park has a lot to see and do. The entrance fee is $35 per vehicle if you do not have the America the Beautiful Pass. It is full of hiking trails and Coulter Bay Village is a must see. One of the more popular spots in town was the Corral. It had a line outside every single night we were there. And believe me, the food was delicious. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Coming up next time on The Traveling Cheesehead, we head through Lamar Valley on our way back to Wyoming. We go through Cody and finally end up in Keystone before we continue our road trip home. Where are we going next? Let's go.